Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanumant Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a program to find the sum of all the rows and sum of all the columns in a matrix. Let us take an example. A is equal to whose elements are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here the first row consisting of the elements 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 gives us 3. So that is the first row sum. Similarly, the second row consisting of elements 3 and 4. So, 3 plus 4 gives us 7. So, that is the sum of the second row. Similarly, we can write the first column consisting of element 1 and 3. 1 plus 3 gives us 4. That is the sum of the first column. Similarly, second column consisting of elements 2 and 4. So, 2 plus 4 gives us 6. So, this one will become the sum of the second column. So, this is how we need to write the program. So, let us write the preprocessor directives. I will write hash include in an angular brace. We will write iostream.h header file. And then the second preprocessor directive I am going to write is hash include in an angular base. I am going to write console input output dot h header file. Now let us go for writing wide main function curly open brace. And here in a declaration section I am going to declare the two dimensional array of type integer a of 5 5. So first index always represent a row and the second index always represent column. Next I am going to take row and column so r and c next we are going to take the indices i j and semicolon sorry comma then we'll write r sum is one more variable which is used for row sum and next one more is c sum which is used for column sum now let us write clr yes cr function uh, which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter the order of first matrix using c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark will write enter the order of the matrix so enter double quotation mark and put semicolon and here we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator then we'll use row stream extraction operator column and put semicolon so after receiving the order of the matrix from the user we will ask the user to enter the elements of the matrix. So, see out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark. Enter the elements of the matrix. So, backward slash n, end the double quotation mark and put semicolon. So, in order to receive the elements one by one, so we have to use the looping construct for i is equal to zero right next i is less than row and then i plus plus and the next for loop is for j is equal to 0 j is less than column and then j plus plus so after this we have to receive the input from the user using scene stream extraction operator and now we are going to use this two dimensional array here i'm going to write a of i j and put semicolon so after receiving the elements, we need to find the row sum and then column sum. For that, I'm going to use for i is equal to 0, i is less than a row and then i plus plus. So curly open brace and next I'm going to write here this variable r sum is set to 0. Next I'll write for loop for j is equal to 0 j is less than column then j plus plus and here i'm going to use r sum is equal to r sum plus a of i j and then put semicolon and after performing the iterations i have to write c out and in a double quotation mark i'm going to write sum of row number and the double quotation mark and here i'm going to write i plus one so for the first time i is 0, 0 plus 1 is it is going to represent 1. So stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I will write equal to which will be printed as it is next stream insertion operator and the value will be stored in r sum. Here I am going to write the variable r sum and then stream insertion operator and I am going to use endl to bring the cursor down to the next line. So curly closing brace for this 
for loop next we'll go for finding out the sum of uh, columns right so for that again i'll write for now i'm going to write for i is equal to zero i is less than column i'm going to write next i plus plus curly open brace and how exactly we have initialized r sum is equal to zero in the same way here we had a variable called c sum so c sum is reset to value zero so i'll write c sum is equal to zero and put semicolon for j is equal to zero j is less than row and j plus plus now i'm going to write c sum is equal to c sum plus a of j i i'm going to write here and put semicolon now we have to display the result using c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write sum of column number i plus one so that is one it will be printed and here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write equal to stream insertion operator and value will be stored in c sum so i'm going to write c sum and then stream insertion operator i'll write end l and then curly closing brace for this opening brace of for and next we are going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the order of the matrix so now i'm going to enter for example 2 and 2 so here the first two will be stored in r and the second two will be stored in c next we are going to go for enter the elements of the matrix one by one so i'm going to enter the same elements for example 1 2 3 and 4 so using these two iterative statements it is going to insert element one by one so here i'm going to write this is a is equal to index number 0 1 and index number 0 1 now after receiving the elements i'm going to go for executing the statements which are present in these for loops right so for i is equal to 0 i is less than r r is what 2 so 0 is less than 2 yes it is true once it is true r sum is set to 0 for j is equal to 0 and 0 is less than c is 2 so 0 is less than 2 this is also true hence this particular statement will get executed so what it is going to do is it is going to calculate r sum is equal to r sum for the first time it is set to 0 plus a of i j i is 0 j is 0 here you can see a of 0 0 consisting of what 1 so 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 will be stored in r sum correct so again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 i was 0 now j is 1 so 1 is less than 2 yes it is true once again this particular statement will get executed r sum is equal to r sum now r sum is 1 it is not 0 right so now it is 1 plus a of 0 1 correct because j value is 1 so a of 0 1 here you can see a of 0 1 is having value 2 so that is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 will be stored in r sum so once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j is 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the condition fails then this particular statement will not get executed control transfers to this particular statement and it is going to execute sum of row number here it is going to print sum of row number i is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 so it is going to print 1 is equal to it is it will be printed as it is so here i'm going to write is equal to then r sum then end l so r sum is holding what r sum is holding value 3 so it is going to print 3 and cursor will come down to the next line so after that again control transfers to the outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 earlier it was 0 now it is 1 i is 1 1 is less than r is what 2 1 is less than 2 yes condition is true again r sum is reset to 0 for j is equal to 0 
0 is less than 2 because c is 2 yes it is true next it is going to print or manipulate r sum is equal to r sum is 0 now plus a of i j i is 1 j is 0 so a of i is 1 j is 0 so what it, it is going to give a of 1 0 a of 1 0 consisting of what 3 so i'm going to write 3 so 3 plus 0 gives us 3 3 will be stored in r sum so again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 so i was 1 now j is also 1 so it is true because 1 is less than 2 hence it is true so r sum will be calculated as once again so r sum is equal to now r sum value is what 3 3 plus a of 1 1 so a of 1 1 so a of 1 come 1 consisting of what a of 1 1 consisting of value 4 so that is 3 plus a of 1 1 4 so this gives us so this gives us what 7 okay so 7 will be stored in the variable r sum right so once again the control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value will become 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of this inner for loop and it is going to execute this statement so what it is going to print now it is going to print sum of row number so i was 1 correct so 1 is uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 so it is going to print row sum of row number 2 is equal to will be printed as it is i'm going to write equal to and here you can see r sum so r sum is holding value 7 now so i'm going to write 7 so once again control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 earlier it was 1 now it is 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the outer for loop condition fails then control comes out of this looping construct and it is going to execute the next statement so next statement once again we have got looping statements for i is equal to 0 i is less than column i plus plus and c sum is set to 0 and for j is equal to 0 j is less than row and j plus plus and now we are going to perform column sum c sum is equal to c sum plus a of j i we have to calculate right yes next here you can see for the first time i is 0 j is also 0 okay 0 is less than 2 here also 0 is less than 2 both of these two conditions are true hence c sum so it is going to perform c sum is equal to for the first time c sum is 0 plus a of j i here the first it is pointing to column correct so here i'm going to write uh, i is pointing to column and j is pointing to row correct you can clearly see it is 0 0 consisting of what 1 so i'm going to write 0 plus 1 that is going to give us 1 1 will be stored in c sum so again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 so now j is 1 and i was 0 correct yes so 1 is less than 2 condition is true once again this particular statement c sum is equal to now c sum value is what 1 plus a of j i now j is incremented the value by 1 so j was 1 so here it is pointing j is pointing to 1 so now j is 1 and i was 0 so that consisting of what value 3 so here 1 plus 3 that gives us 4 so 4 will be stored in c sum so once again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j is 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the condition fails then this particular statement will not get executed what will happen it is going to print the next statement see out sum of column number it is going to print sum of column number and here you can see i plus 1 so for the first time i is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 so it is going to print 1 is equal to will be printed as it is so i'm going to write here is equal to and c sum so c sum is holding what c sum is holding value 4 so it is going to print 4 okay so that is sum of column number 1 is 4 next once again control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 and j value is 0 so once again this c sum is set to 0 yes okay next 0 is less than 2 and here 1 is less than 2 condition is true hence it is going to execute c sum is equal to c sum is reset to 0 
so 0 plus a of j i so now j is what 0 correct so now j is pointing to 0 so j is pointing to 0 and then i is pointing to what 1 so it is pointing to 1 so i is incremented j is pointing to 0 1 that consisting of value 2 so 0 plus 2 gives us 2 once again control transfers to this inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j is 1 and i was 1 correct so here j is going to point to 1 now i is also 1 so that consisting of 4 here i'm going to perform c sum is equal to c sum is what now it is 2 2 plus a of j i so j was 1 and even i was 1 so hence it is going to add 4 to 2 so 4 plus 2 that gives us 6 correct next once again control transfers to inner for loop by incrementing the value of j by 1 now j value is 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once again oh sorry uh, if it is false then this particular statement has to execute correct so once the inner for loop is false then this statement so it is sum of column number uh, here i plus 1 so i was 1 1 plus 1 is 2 so 2 and e is equal to as it is it will be printed and c sum is holding what value 6 right so it is going to print 6 so sum of uh, column number 1 is 4 and sum of column number 2 is 6 similarly here you can see sum row number 2 is 7 and sum of row number 1 is 3 right yes once again control transfers to outer for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 so earlier it was 1 now it is 2 2 is less than 2 no condition fails once the condition of the outer for loop is false then the control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to execute get ch and then terminates the program so here you can see it is going to print sum of row number one is equal to three here you can see we have already done this one manually so first row number is what one plus two is three similarly sum of row number two that is three plus seven sorry three plus four is seven so here it is displaying seven in the same way here you can see sum of column number one is four so column number one consisting of one plus three that is four similarly sum of column number two is six so sum of column number two two plus four is six now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c plus plus compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error and now i'm going to press enter now let us uh, run this program by pressing control f9 here it is asking the user to enter the order of matrix for example i am going to enter two rows and two columns now it is asking the user to enter the elements of the matrix for example i am going to enter two three four and press enter here you can see it is printing sum of row number one is equal to three sum of row number two is equal to seven and sum of column number one is equal to four and sum of column number two is equal to six i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you